Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. I just got off the Verizon earnings call, but I wanted to push this update out to you guys um, before I make the longer Verizon video. So this is an update from the mobile report. I'll leave a link to it in the description. This is an update directly from T-Mobile's PR team. This is about the uh, priority data limit to their home internet that they updated on the page. So we'll head to the bottom of the page to read the, the PR statement directly from T-Mobile. So T-Mobile has updated with the following statement. This is a fair usage policy, not a data cap. So that's clarified. It's not a cap, so you're not being hard throttled after the 1.2 terabytes. We don't have a data cap. Customers still get unlimited data, even if they use more than 1.2 terabytes in a month, over two times the average user. So they're basing this off of the average user. Less than 10% of our customers. So again, it's a single digit number. They'll just prioritized, they'll just be prioritized after other home internet customers for the remainder of the bill cycle, which that's that's e even doing it like that now, that's gotta be another headache for the engineers to optimize for, for that. And they may notice slower speeds compared to other home internet customers in times of congestion. This ensures that all of our customers get a great network experience. At the start of the next month, those customers reset to normal prioritization until the next time they hit 1.2 terabytes. So this is directly from T-Mobile's PR team. Now, what I wanna say is, so it's still in the single digits, the, the amount of users, but T-Mobile continuing to, to operate this business, they continue to, to scale it with more spectrum in the future, they continue to advertise, I'm positive there will be another big Super Bowl ad about T-Mobile's home internet, they will continue to grow customers that use that amount. All they need is a family of three, family of four, and they will hit that and exceed that very quickly, probably mid-month. A lot of these customers exceed 1.2 terabytes. Now, T-Mobile is still very small and very early in this business, so that single digit of users that hit over a terabyte, that will eventually get to a double digit. So we have to take that into consideration. It's probably like at around, I'm told about six, 7% um, through this year and next year, it probably will get to 10, 11, 12%. I don't think it'll ever get that high and I don't think T-Mobile will allow it to get that high, but it is a very interesting st statistic to follow because like I mentioned in that video, that one user in a neighborhood that uses 1.5, two terabytes he just closed slots for like the next five or six customers that T-Mobile could be making 50 or now the $60 price point off of. So that'll be interesting to see how T-Mobile manages this moving forward if they let that customer just churn off. But for now, this is the official statement from T-Mobile. Again, this does not clarify if this is for new customers or existing customers. I am going to be very honest and I'll ask questions but this is probably a, a fair usage policy for all customers. I think that's what, the, what this is saying. This is not just for new and existing. This is for everyone because it says a fair usage policy. You can't just separate that. You can't just have new customers on the fair usage policy and not old customers. So this is for everyone across the board. And I'll get clarification on that, but I'm, I'm like 99.9999% sure this is for everyone every home internet user. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. If you're new, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.